hey guys um next video that i got coming out here i'm going to show you how to uh, retrieve your your graphs and your telemetry information from uh your previous flights or whatever your current flight is uh, whenever you make a connection to the helicopter and you open it up um, it obviously makes a connection and when you disconnect it the screen will pop up that shows you when you connected to like a scorpion tribunus uh, esc or the new ige um, you'll see the screen pop up that shows you all the telemetry data that happened during the flight. Um, there's a, a, underneath the log thing, you'll see a thing that says graph, and when that, that button is active, that means there's enough information in, in the log in order to uh, create a graph. Uh, in this case, um, I just disconnected and reconnected, so it was no big deal, so you can't, you can't really see it. So right now I'm disconnected from the helicopter, so we're gonna go through the archive and find it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up, slow it up, and I'm gonna hit archive. I'm gonna choose 700, and then I'm gonna choose uh, one of the the log files and see which one has the graph that's lift, lifted uh, Not lifted, but actually um, lit up. Um, so we'll go to this one uh -oh, Choose the wrong 700 again Let's go to that one. All right, so now you see graph is actually live. It's not grayed out That means there was enough information in that graph in order to see it So if you tap graph what comes up is exactly all the telemetry information that happened during the flight now this looks crazy because I was doing a bunch of pitch pumps. You can see where it was spiking up and down. But let's say I wanted to see exactly how much I was doing. So you could actually tap this one time, tap screen, and it comes up and you can slide it over. And as you slide it, you see the actual numbers change into whatever percentage it was. You can see what actually happened during that point. Okay, it's still kind of confusing to see because it's a lot of information. So that's when Mikado made a zoom function. If you look here, you hit the zoom, and now you can see the actual points a little bit better and you can tell what's going on. Now you can scroll down and you can see exactly what was happening during each and every point of the, uh, the graph at that point, which is really cool. And if you zoom back out, you can get further down the screen and see other points and then zoom in more and you can see exactly what happened with those points as well, which is really cool. So this is another function for telemetry that you can be able to tell what's going on. You can also see that different parts of the telemetry are in different colors. So you can see the voltage is green, the RPM is gonna be yellow, the degree of the ESC is gonna be in purple, um, the light blue is gonna be percentage battery, and then the, the amperage draw is gonna be in red, which you see what's going on. So that's where you can see all the stuff that's happening throughout the flight. Um, I'm sorry, the, the light blue is the PWM, it's not the uh, battery, but you can go through and you can see all your telemetry data. Um, and the coolest part about it is if you don't understand, you can hit the question mark and then it'll go through and give you all the, the um, elements that are happening. It's talking about the telemetry data that are um, part of the helicopter and what's going on with fluent flight, which is awesome. Um, there's also another option. You can hit the logs here. And when you pop the logs, you can actually see that what was going on. This is a brand new setup. You see, I got the governor throw a full throttle here which means I was WFO the whole time and I was going through to see what was going on. I was just making some crazy moves just to see, A, if my helicopter was gonna fail, which I didn't have any doubt it would, but B, to see what the limits of I could test, which is what I typically do with every helicopter. I test it to see what I can do before I get out there and hand the, the switches to somebody else or if I fly it on a consistent basis. If I know I can't break it, it can't be broken. So that's why I test things. But here's the logs. It'll tell you what's going on. You can see the ESC was 105 and the temperature was 74 degrees. Um, you can see what's happening with the, the helicopter flying, um, going around, going to full throttle, but no, no bad logs or anything like that. And this is when I shut the whole thing down. So these logs are here for each and every time you fly. And whenever you connect to uh, Wi-Fi, it automatically uploads all this stuff to the cloud so you can go on the computer if you don't have your radio and you can check it all there too. So there's a uh, whole different different things you can do, a whole lot of things you can do. And uh, this is just another exciting thing for V-Control Touch. I'll be making another uh, video here soon. Take it easy.